What? <coughs> what is going on, everybody? Uh, this is Sammy R here, and yeah, another another live com. I think the last one went down pretty well, so I thought I'd bring you another one. As you can see, it's the same team we're running with. About to add a fitness uh, card to them all. <coughs> Once you get around 80 fitness, I definitely think you have to uh, apply some fitness cards. Oh God, where's it gone? I did actually buy a squad fitness. I'm not sure if it's done the glitch. Yeah, it's done the glitch. That's my Samuel that I got out of a free gold pack uh, when the month began. So not bad. Two and a half K player probably. Um, here's Carl Walker on a red card. Here's a bit of cheeky Neymar. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Um, so basically, as you may notice there, I have Neymar. Um, and that is basically because I'm in the process of making a five-star skill Brazil team. I think it'll be pretty fun to play with. Actually, I can show you. I can show you. Mwahaha. So that's what I've got so far. Eccleson. Oh, I'm not sure how to say his name, actually. Macozel, Wallison, Neymar. Standard players, really. Um, and if you're wondering why the links are really weird, it's because of the new update. If you play FIFA a lot, you'll probably know that already. But for those of you who uh, don't get the chance to play it too much, then yes, yeah, I've put an update. It's basically the same. It's just like orange links for dark green and then red for no links. Uh, and hating like formations and stuff like that um in this live com i will be talking through a bit of real life football obviously liverpool played last night the updates that ea have done maybe a bit of fifa street and obviously i have to talk about nm fifa hd um so as i try to find a game i'm not sure if anybody will actually play me i'm not sure why this guy isn't playing me he's got what 84 83 84 He's all round, he's got a lot better stats than me. I've got an 88 attack, to be fair, but I mean, 81 midfield and 78 defence isn't exactly amazing. So, don't know why you'd back out if you had an 84 midfield and an 84 defence or something like that. Just seems mind boggling to me. I, actually, I've just remembered, I'm going to talk about Team of the Week as well because I'm not sure many people know about that. Um, but this guy's got an okay team. He's got a bit of Jesus Navas, Higuain, Pedro, uh, some pretty standard players. Um, uh, but that's not really too big a deal. I'm trying to pull up Twitter at the moment um, because EA Sports did say the team of the week. Um, I'm just trying to pull it up for you now. In goal, Tim Howard. Jufran right back, centre backs, a second in form, Vertonghen, Samuel, Robin, Sean, Menez, Menez, left mid, Hoyler, Gomez, and uh, Uche, and also there's like Felipe Coutinho, if you know who he is, he's a, a Brazil, he's not five star, he's four star, but he's an absolute class player, um, I love him so much, he's one of my favourite uh, players. And if he is on form silver, I know normally he's a 74. If he's a 74 on form silver, I, c I can see him being almost half a mil uh, to start off with, really. Maybe even more than that. Alex was Alex Chamberlain. Alex Oxley Chamberlain, I'm going to say, um, was a 1 mil. Danilio is still probably around a mil, I reckon. Not really sure, though. I don't really check his price. Um, so, you know, silvers are a lot. Can, well, can be a lot more expensive, uh, especially the good ones. Uh, they're most gold. So, our uh, team of the week this week is actually insane. Gerard, I think, will be put in it. Um, I'm not. Re I'm not really sure what's going on with that. To be fair, and just talking about Gerard, obviously he scored a hatcher last night. I did actually see the first goal, but I didn't get to see the other two. So. I'm not sure how good they were, but I imagine they're probably pretty classy goals. The first one definitely was beautiful placed uh, chip right over the keeper. Great strike. And obviously, I think it just gives Liverpool a massive, massive boost when they have Stevie G in the team. I think he links up with uh, Suarez and Carroll really well. He kind of he completes their team. Um, 
and obviously just Liverpool play so much better when they've gone in the team. Um, I got who should take this corner actually? Man, Percy should because look at the whip on that. Oh, Colacini really should be doing better from there. Um, guys, I'm gonna be using this channel for probably live commentary games from now on. Probably won't have too many series going on on here. My series will be on N. Um, FIFA HD, if you don't know about that, I'll link my last video where I talk, talk a lot about it. Um, what side to do if you're interested? Me and Matt, we're going to do Road to Glories in a way at the same time. Yeah, he's doing like a Road to Hybrid. So he's got a hybrid team planned out. Now I'm going to do a Road with like Brazilvers and stuff. Um, and we're going to see who can build the bad team like within the shortest amount of time and we're gonna have a bit of trading I guess to get better players and stuff like that really so um hopefully that'll be a quite a unique series because you don't see too many people like doing almost a race to road to glory in a way if you understand what I'm saying um so yeah that should be pretty good I would um I should say that he told me to mention that he got his PVR today, so I think that's a huge plus. Um, that means we can get the channel started earlier, and it means the giveaway will be sooner. I think we may even have more than 300k to give away. I'm not sure how much officially it is yet. Um, we'll just need to do some calculations to see how much money we can put together for this giveaway uh, for you guys. So if you didn't know about it, please do subscribe to Universal FIFA. If I could, I would bring every single one of my subscribers over. Um, and that would just be so awesome. So if you tell your friends that we've got giveaway on this new channel, just tell them to subscribe. Do what you want to do, I guess. But um, yeah, it should be really good channel. I uh, just, yeah. Let's just say it's cool. All good is in the hood. Um, and there's Van Persie not doing too well. I've got to say though guys, one of my videos that I've planned for the future is going to be a uh, Robin Van Persie, in a way a montage, but more of a kind of, I'm not really sure how to explain it, it's more of a, not a great goals one, it's more of a, it's more of like a, I'm not sure if you've seen Hayes' video where he says where it's about the Premier League and like transfers and stuff like that but in a montage it looked really cool and I'm kind of basing it off that in a way um, and that's just really cool I think that would be a really good video to watch I'm going to spend quite a lot of time on that and uh, hopefully that is a good video so on about this game I'm not really sure uh, well, I mean, it's a bit of a dead game in all honesty at the moment. He seems to be last ditch defending. Um, one twos everywhere. Mm, not just him, me as well. I'm not. Sh eh. um, I'm not really sure. I think the thing about four two two formation is sometimes uh, it can force you in a way to do like one two three balls, and when you start doing that, like repetitively it can make you play a lot lot worse um, and that's what I don't like about this formation um, but normally it is a good formation to use you just need to remember not to constantly use one two uh, one twos up front because it can make you very predictable to play and you'll probably lose um, quite a lot of games if you do that but anyway if you're wondering why Alan Hutton is playing it right back it's because Carl Walker got a red card. Um, basically, I was trying to do a live commentary, but at the end of it, I realised that I that I didn't actually record my voice. A bit stupid, I know. Um, oh, nearly bravo, nearly. Um, and yeah, so that made me look like a bit of a dick, not recording my voice. And I think I lost that game as well. And I got a red card, so it was really not a good game anyway. So I wasn't too disappointed after the match when I found out my live commentary didn't record. Oh god, I didn't even mean to sweat that. I did a through ball by accident. 
I wasn't going to score that because I just felt bad about passing across anyway. Um, so in the second half, I'll probably talk about oh Jeremy Menez left mid. I just saw his card. Um, oh no, no! Felipe Coutinho is actually gold in form. Um, Uche up front is a silver in form. There's two bronze in forms. Team of the week looks absolutely amazing. The last few team of the weeks have been great and this one uh, is no exception in all honesty it just looks like such a great team of the week i can just imagine i can just imagine having menes left mid holy moly he'd be good cut inside on uh, god god he looks good and um i'll probably talk about the update so if you don't know uh then i'm s i mean if you do know about the updates already go on um then I'm sorry, but I'll probably repeat it just for people that don't know about the updates. Basically, EA have done an update. It was on yesterday for Xbox, today for PS3 users. What it has, the first thing you'll notice is the chemistry links have changed. Um, it looks a lot different, as I mentioned before. The red has gone to, um, I mean, the dark green has gone to orange, and no links have gone to red. Um, and to be honest, I think it looks pretty weird at the moment. I'm not. I don't really like it. But I guess we'll probably get used to it uh, very shortly, and we'll probably think, how did we not like look at things like this before? Um, I can definitely see advantages to it though, but I don't think it looks that nice on the eye. If you know what I mean, I just like seeing a lot of green links around, and when you're doing a hybrid with lots of red links, I don't really like the look of it. Um, it looks a bit strange to me, um, but that's my just my opinion there anyway. The next thing you might notice is when you're trading, it comes up with a uh, you've been outbid on say Wallison for example earlier today. I was bidding on a Wallison, it came up with sorry your auction you've been outbid. What that is the biggest P roller? You joking me? Are you joking me, blood? Um, yeah, I think that's a really big P roller. Um, but anyway, that's a nice advanced rainbow. Oh god. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, it comes up saying you've been outbid on a play. I'm not sure if it does it in game. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But that might be something else to look out for. Uh, it does do it if you're just on the home screen. I think. Um, other things, you can now win packs or possibly players from winning tournaments. Now this I think is probably the best improvement to Ultimate Team. I think that I, I had no idea, like, when I, I keep on thinking about how they could actually improve FIFA for FIFA 13 and stuff, and I completely overlooked the fact to win other stuff. Um, rather than just packs. I mean, I had the idea before, but you know, I think it's great to have actually listened to what we want and implemented it in Ultimate Team. Go on, son. Oh, nearly. Heart seems to be such an overpowered keeper. 83 overall, my heart. Um, so, yeah, I think it's great that EA have listened to that and actually done something about it. Um, I think that is just great. It looks like I mean, just imagine getting, like, I don't know, like a really good player, like maybe a Messi if you win a cup. I mean, they're never going to do that. I It would be a bit stupid, but just some free packs before winning a cup would be great. And Pepe Reina is a piece of poo this game, diving over the ball. That's absolutely stupid. Um, you mad, bro. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Sorry about the gameplay today. This, I'm, what? Are you joking me, ref? Are you? Are you high? Um. So other things they've done, they've upgraded security quite a lot. You can now only do trade offers to people on your friends list. Now I see a big problem with this. In all honesty, how did that not go in? This is scripting. No. Um. I think that's a bad move because trade offers are a good idea. I think people should do more trade offers, and obviously they've done it to stop hacking, for like, uh, to stop like hackers trading players over to accounts. But to be fair, I think 
if they were on another person's account, um, surely they would just sell the players on that account and then transfer the coins over. So I don't really see how it would stop hacking. Um, I guess it would make it a bit harder to hack, but I'm not sure it really solves the problem. I think security questions um, is a lot better. Like if you enter it on a different console or something, but I'm not sure how they'd do that with Ultimate Team Web. So I'm just not sure really if it will actually do too much. I guess it will, but you never know. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. What? Oh, that was a great double save. I do think it's a bit stupid that when the opposition takes a shot, it seems to go straight. Like when the keeper saves it and parries it, it seems to go straight to their person for no reason, really. That's a goal. No, it's not. That's a great block. Oh, um, so for the final 10 minutes, I guess I've discussed everything I want to talk about um, in this video. I just want to say that I will use this channel for probably just live commentaries if you guys want to watch them. If you guys don't, I know they're quite long, but and you know a lot of people like to watch live commentaries. Um, and so yeah, if you if you don't have a lot of time, just you don't have to watch it. Like no one's forcing you to click on the video. Um, if you have watched right up until the bitter end, I do really appreciate it. Um, Ninja a bit of a legend. Uh, let's start an NBI on <laughs> in our track. Um, that'd be pretty funny though. Uh, so yeah, just my main series will be on NM FIFA as I said before. So if you please could subscribe to that. It means so much. I want to try and get at least a hundred subs before we actually like start uploading, because uh, then it would just help the channel out a lot. It mean we could grow faster and just yeah, it'd just be really cool if you guys could do that. Go on, son. Go on, son. Robin Van Persie. One minute to get one goal. Could it be done? Could it be done? I'm gonna watch the replay. Oh, I'm joking. I'm not that much of a dickhead. Um, so, it's gone. Hopefully, we can get another goal back. I won't even take it to extra time if I do get a goal back because it just make the video about 10 hours long. Probably something around that. Um, and it will just take a day to upload and I'm not really feeling that. To be fair, I'll probably just get another one here. Oh, yeah, beauty. What a hit song. Um, the ref's going to stop the game, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't he? Michael Carrick is actually a very good player on FIFA. Very underrated. Well, his in form's good, even. Um, oh, God, that's a bad shot. No, it's not. Run, Van Persie. Run! Oh, 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 oh dude, hey. What a hit on. What? A hit. Robin Van Persie. Stunner. Absolute stunner. Oh, God. What a strike. Weak foot. Scissor kick volley. 90th minute. This guy must be gutted. What an end to the game. Maybe. Oh, no ref. I'm going to score. Look. No, I'm joking. That was amazing. That was so good. So, guys, if you could please give this video a like, just lets me know that uh, you guys are enjoying these little live commentaries. I'm sorry, man. I got it ended. Uh, oh, God. Um, sorry, mate. I got to end it as a draw. I don't want this video to go on for too long. So, yeah, if you guys could like the video, just lets me know that you're enjoying the series. And also, uh, please, please, please subscribe to NM FIFA HD. I will have the link in the description or on the screen just now. So that's all from me, guys. Uh, it's been NBI. I hope you have a nice day and enjoy it.